The city is still on high alert right now after a quadruple shooting in Walnut Hills. One person has died. Nine on your side, reporter Amy Wattis is live with the very latest. Amy. Tanya, we're at the intersection of Taft and Essex here in Walnut Hills. To give you an idea, this is right by the White Castle. And as you can see, police have this entire block and a half taped off right now. And they are concerned. They're very, they say the city is on high alert tonight and they do believe there are other suspects out there and fear that there could be retaliation as well. Now, an officer called for backup when he noticed a young man standing out here with a gun this afternoon. That man was arrested right away. Police are telling us this is gang related and believe some of the people involved might go to a local high school. One man is in his early 20s died while three others are in the hospital tonight with non life threatening injuries. One of those three is a juvenile. Now, some people are in custody tonight and police are looking at a car as possible evidence and they do think that there are other suspects out there. The investigation is in its early stages, very early stages, but we've taken steps. Captain Neville and his people in District 4, as well as CIS and all of our investigators uh, are actively looking at different things throughout the city to try to not only really uh, put, a, put a border around this thing here, but also prevent any other act that may happen as we move into Friday night with this warm weather. Now, to give you an idea, the shooting happened during a very busy time of day. Police say a lot of people were driving by, walking on the sidewalks, even standing at bus stops. So a uh, very scary situation for a lot of witnesses that were out here tonight. Now, police do tell us that 71, the uh, Taft Road exit off of 71 South is still closed to traffic tonight, as well as this entire intersection that you see behind me. Of course, stay with Nine on Your Side and WCPO.com for the latest information. Amy Wattis, Nine on Your Side, live from Walnut Hills. All right, Amy, thanks. Chopper 9's been providing the only aerial view of the crime scene this evening. Let's get a full report now from Dan Carroll. Chopper 9 is giving you a look at the area that police have blocked off here. This is William Howard Taft at May Street, not allowing any traffic to go there where William Howard Taft crosses over I-71. The exit ramp had to be shut down as well that comes on the Taft. And then down to Essex is the intersection you see right there and the intersection by the Minus store. That is Redding Road. Police have all that area blocked off as they conduct an investigation into this deadly shooting. I'm Dan Carroll in Chopper 9. For that, Dan, thank you for that report. Nine on your side, WCPO.com. We'll stay on this story. We will bring you updates as they develop during our newscasts.